Okay, folks, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I thought I would show you the 0 0.7, which is finally out. It took uh, quite a while, but it's finally here, which means these things are finally here. I haven't flown one yet, so this will be my first time as well. Um, they look awesome, man. The detailing is just insane. The bits of rust everywhere. I mean, it sort of looks like it wouldn't really fly. And up here as well. You know what they should add? Just occurred to me. They should add a seat here. Like back in the day when they used to do the um, aerobatic things. Dudes standing on the wings and stuff like that. Or holding on to this here. That would be awesome. So this one is the duster, I think. This is what this is called. Uh, which is a bit slower than, I think this one is the Scout, if I remember. This one. Uh, they're pretty much both the same. This one's got the little cover over the wheels and a different color. And again, the detailing is just awesome. Or maybe that one, this one should have, this one looks more like the aerobatics with the, the paint scheme that they've got. Look at that detail there, man. That looks so good. Um, yeah, so I've been waiting a long time for 0 0.7. Um, yeah, could you imagine a seat up here? Just sit here and... That'd be awesome. And shoot as well. And what you can also do with these is if you have an RPK... I think it only works with an RPK. If you come up to the front, you can equip two of them. Let's just try... I don't think can, I don't think it works with any other weapon. No. So it only works with the RPK for now. Uh, where is it? Oh, you need to have it in your hand. And then equip. There we go. So the pilot, it's got two seats. So the pilot here. And then if you're on a multiplayer server, your friend can sit there. And your friend can also shoot. Again, only an RPK, I think. I haven't tested it with any other weapon, but I'm pretty sure it's only an RPK. You can sit there and shoot. So the pilot controls those two at the front. And as far as I know, there is no crosshair. Let's just have a look. This is the first time I've sat in it, so... This is all completely new to me. Yeah, so you just... Right click. Uh, left click. But there is no crosshair. There is a bit of a bug at the moment where when you get into it before it starts it kind of rolls and if you just hold spacebar it will stop moving um to accelerate it's the middle mouse button you can see the animation of the hand there uh these dials in front do work Let's just get out again these dials in the front do work so you can see your uh, altitude your speed and all that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Also, it comes with the parachute because you obviously saw me drop in there. You can't control anything when you're falling. You either fall faster or slower and you just basically float down. You can't um, maneuver yourself as if you want to, you know, head towards a certain direction. But the wind, if you land, if you parachute when it's stormy weather, the wind, if you open your chute sort of straight away, the wind will take you whichever way it is blowing. So you will move based on the weather, but you can't actually control yourself wherever you want to go. It's just you float to the ground. Uh, these are the parachutes. And they take a long time to open, so you don't want to leave it too late, otherwise you're just going to be a big splat on the floor. Um, you need to time it just right, but you'll get the hang of it. You can't have a backpack and a parachute, obviously, and the parachute is very big, uh, so you can't get a long weapon in there. You wouldn't be able to get a long-ranged weapon in there. Uh, the car won't fit, so any other weapons won't fit. Uh, Would the shotgun fit? Well, oh, shotgun just fits. Shotgun just fits. But really, if you're in the plane, you want to have the uh, the backpack on. You also have the parachute on, sorry. You also have this 
aviation toolkit as well that came with, to repair the planes, just like you do with um, vehicle repair kit, basically. Drain uh, fuel charge battery, yeah. So it's the same process as repairing a car, really. Uh, let's just put that back in there. Where did I drop? There we go. And before we go off flying also, I want to go to the traders. I haven't been to the traders yet. I want to go and check those out as well. But I just thought I'd show you a couple of things. Because I didn't do one of these for 0 0.6. And although I've been playing a lot on the multiplayer server, I actually haven't found a cruiser yet. Uh, or a Hellcat rider. So I thought I would just have a quick look at the cruisers. Because I haven't seen them myself yet. Uh, you got a green one, a black one, a blue one, a purple one, and a red one. And of course, I'm going to go for the black one. And they sound insane. That little pop. They just... They sound so good. Just let it tick over with the V-twin. This is so good, man. I love it. Oh, I stalled it. <laughs> and they do come with a little bit of storage. Not a lot. Uh, I think it's the same as a quad bike. Maybe a little bit less. And also from 0 0.6, you have this beast of a shotgun. Uh, the double barrel, the under over barrel. Which, again... Rapid fire. Awesome. And it does damage as well. Also, with 0 0.7, I'll put up on the screen now. They did do a few more Q, uh, QOLs, and they increased the damage of quite a few of the weapons, uh, including the car. They increased the damage um, of that. So good. Um, and then there's this as well which they introduced recently uh if you know whose this is this thing is amazing it does a hell of a lot of damage look at the detail look, even the chips in the blade there just where those four circles are you can see the chips it's just it's this thing is a beast this thing it really is and you can see the logo as well it's awesome um and the traders Four traders, C2, B4, C3, C2, and A0. Also, it comes with two new points of interest, which are the airfields. I just have to find them because I can't remember where they are. I'm sure one is in A4. Yeah, there you go. There's one in A4 just here. There's an airfield there. And the other one is in Z0. You can see there's another airfield there. But the planes themselves only spawn at the main airfield in B2 and the main airstrip in D4. That's the only two places that spawn the airplanes. And obviously there you have mechs. And mechs are a pain in the ass. Uh, also have a look at the Hellrider truck. I haven't seen this yet either. Barbed wire on the, on the front. Looks pretty cool. But I'm waiting. I mean, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the planes. I think they're awesome. And when we go up, I'm going to test the flying out in a second. But me personally, I'm waiting for the modular vehicles. Because that was one thing that I loved about DayZ. Was having to find the bits for the vehicles and sort of repair them yourself. Get the wheels, get the doors, get the engine components, all that kind of stuff. And that, to me, is just awesome absolutely awesome so i cannot wait for that obviously gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that one, which is fine because i'm going to enjoy having fun in these i hope but when they set in the model to vehicles and if you follow thomas lav on twitter and you see the screenshots that he's been putting out for the um for the vehicles and what they're going to look like and what you can do to them it's just going to be amazing it's going to be absolutely awesome so yeah, that's basically, that's the stuff from 0 0.6 that I've never seen myself. Uh, and I thought I would just have a quick look now. I just want to go on this again. This just sounds so good. 
Oh, there's also the new bike as well. Uh, what's the new bike? I've forgotten about that one. Um, uh, what's the new bike? I can't remember. A dirt bike. Bull's bike. Yep, there you go. There's the new one. This also comes with 0 0.7. First time I've seen it, first time I've ridden it. This is very much Maverick. Oh, stalled it. What speed can we hit on this thing? 84. Okay, I don't have very high biking skills. I put most of my skills into the aviation. So yeah, again this comes to 0 0.7, which is cool. So you've got the dirt bike now, you've got this sports bike, which has obviously seen better days. That's a nasty dent. All torn up on the seats and stuff. I wonder if they're going to do a police uh, decal one like they did with the SUV, because this is a pretty much a police cruiser as well. That would be pretty cool if they did a police one to match the SUV. So you've got the dirt bike, you've got the, the sports bike, and you've got the Harley now, or the the hog. So, some new bikes. But I think it's time. Uh, do I have parachute? I do have parachute. Alright, let's get rid of the shotgun. Let's keep that. Uh, I don't need that. Let's... Whoops. Put the parachute on. Just in case, and let's see how these things work. Again, this is the first time for me. I've never flown one of these. So. And also, with these things spawning, so you start it just by rolling the mouse button, basically. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Rough. Um. Can you go backwards? No. I think I've screwed that one up. Let's have a look. Can I... I wonder if I can get this away from here. Not really. They're quite difficult to control on the ground. And you want to be really... No, okay. So let's take the dust event. You want to be really easy with the throttle. Because as you can see, I literally just crashed straight into that. And uh, screwed myself. So yeah. Uh, with again with the vehicles, they're the same as the vehicles. Sorry, the planes. You can find them in the hangars over there. And in the other D4 base. But again, they might have no battery. They might have no fuel. Uh, wait, I wanted to take the RPK off of those. Bugger. Let's just go and do that quickly. Uh, which I won't be able to do probably. Just drop those there. Quickly go and get these RPKs. Uh, I haven't been to the traders before, so I'm really excited to see this as well. Let's just get these. How do you get them off? Unequip, okay. Then it just goes straight into your hand and unequip that one. You gotta do it from the front. Unequip. There we go. Alright, let's head back over here. Oh, and also you can see I'm too excited to get in the plane. You can see that you've got the pilot jacket and hat as well that I've got on with the goggles. And the pilot jacket. Which is quite cool. I like those pilot jackets. They're nice. So let's equip these here. Equip. Here. I don't know actually how. Equip. How you would reload these mid-air. I'm assuming it has to be done by the guy at the front let's have a look if I enter there you walk up the wing which is really cool can you reach these two no you can't so I'm guessing you have to land to reload them okay I hope that would be good if they did add that the guy at the front could reach over and reload them that would be nice Right, let's try not to crash this time. Um, look, you see, I'm not doing anything, and you can see that the plane is rolling forward. That's just a little bug. But if you hold spacebar, 
it will stop. And hopefully that will go away. Right, let's... Okay, you can see the tail moving. And it's Q and E to move the rudder. So let's... I'm so going to crash. Let's see if we can get this thing in the air. Full speed. Really sensitive. And we're away. That's probably extremely loud. Uh, wait, let's just effects turn that right down. Because that's probably way loud. That's better. Yep. And. Oh, do you know what I've just realized you can do with this? Dive bomb sentries. I wonder if they can shoot that. Oh, yep, they can. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. And look, if you look at the dials, you can see if you get rid of the glare. Airspeed, altitude. Vertical speed is so well done, man. It really is awesome. It is amazing. Right, where is... Right, let's head to the C2 trader. So good. Oh, so it only shoots one at a time. Okay, now I've run out of ammo. Maybe that's why. Uh, C2 trader, let's go. Let's go and have a look at the trader. And you can see, look, I'm getting cold. You can see the frost coming on the screen because I'm getting cold because I'm so high up. But I tell you what, man. When you're up here and you see the scale of the map, it's just... It's just awesome. I love this game so much. And you can see all the points of interest. Just the detail that they put into this game is amazing. I don't know if you can stall these. You can fly upside down. See, imagine a seat on the front. The dude. That would be so good. Doing all these barrel rolls, loop the loops. Certainly get some speed. What happens if we. Can you stall it in midair? Will it cut out? I've pulled right back on the throttle now. Okay, so it basically just does a nosedive. We have entered a new zone. Is that a runway? Can we land? Oh, this is going to put my skills to the test. This is going to put my skills to the test. Right, let's see if we can land this on that thing. I'm going to crash into the water. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Go faster, go faster, go faster, because I'm going to crash. Now slow down. Ooh. Ooh, bouncy. Really bouncy. And I crashed. Okay, so landing is tricky. That's something to get used to. But that was cool. I love that. And there's even a little hangar here. This is the outpost. There's even a little hangar. I mean, the level of detail that they put into this is amazing. Spare wheels. Japan, United States, Brazil, Canada, United Kingdom, Portugal, Japan. Okay. Different lockers with, of course, appropriate um, calendars in a workshop. Well, I suppose it's not appropriate anymore, is it? But it was when I was working in a workshop. Little sentry box. 
hobo stove going. Uh, so let's see if we can get to the entrance. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll be hungry. Where's the entrance? So that's the hangar for the... No, there is a runway then. I was right. Okay, here we go. There's a entrance. Let's get to the main bridge entrance. As you would... Well, I suppose you might fly around or you could drive around, but... Let's say we're coming from the vehicle. Here we go. There we go. We're here. Maximum allowed parking time, two hours. Vehicle will be destroyed if time parking time exceeds the limit. Okay, I wonder if that is actually true. I wonder if after two hours, it will blow up. I've, I guess they've done that to stop people camping the outposts. Can you close these? No. Also, I don't know if there's an opening and closing time. Like, it's open at, you know, from 8 till 9 and then it's closed. I guess not, because eventually... This is so cool. Can you climb up here? You can. This is just going to change everything. Oh, don't fall off. This is just going to change everything. For when... Uh, when uh, on the multiplayer servers so this is the hospital or the infirmary but this one hasn't been completed yet this one's still under construction so you can't go in there but I'm guessing that's going to be you know bandages, medicine um, splints, all that kind of stuff armory, let's go and have a look at the armory it looks so good, all the sandbags everywhere Another little guard post. I don't know if they're going to be adding, you know, moving NPCs in this in this area, or if it's just going to be the NPCs in the buildings. Another hobo stove. Those boxes have been there. Shooting range targets. Crates. Or makes you want to get in there. So, let's... Oh, stuck on that. Let's go and have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. RPGs? What the hell? This is so cool. I'm just in awe at how cool this looks. Bayonets, pistols, ammo. Are you gonna... I wonder if he's gonna... I'm trying to get shot. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not trying to get shot. Machetes. Knives. Grenades, stun grenades, bolts. This is so... Look, all the suppressors. The 50 cal suppressors. Look at the size of that thing. No firearms or weapons allowed in this building. Night vision. Oh, look, the two golds. Let's have a look. So it's a whole new menu. Uh, ranged weapons. Whoops. Wait, 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 wait back. Rifles, assaults. So they've put it into the categories then. Heck. The money, the new in-game currency, this shit is expensive. 50k almost for a 50 cal for a black one. Wow. Spending uh, price. Spending. So for a hunter, it's two and a half, basically. SVD is 24 grand. Car is 11 grand. That's my favorite rifle. Mm, can I sell anything for him? Can I sell him ammo? No. Oh, yes, I can. Look, 28. So how do you... Drag and drop? Double click? Ah, double click. Okay. Okay. But I don't want to sell... Well, I can sell the shotgun. Why not? Let's sell it. Let's get some money in. No. I can't sell it. Ah, it's a single click. Okay, just a single click, not a double click. Sell. There we go, and then I got some cash. 428 cash. Sweet, sweet cash. That's all I got. So. Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. Obviously. Guns come unloaded. Okay, so they've got armor. Helmets. Oh. Combat. 
Oh, look at that. That's a beast. Oh, no, I don't want to add it to my cart. How do you... Uh, how do you remove it from your... Okay, so left click, add, right click, remove. Okay, got it. Got yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got a search option. Accessories. Ooh. So it's a single, I gotta get used to that. Single click. So used to a double click for picking everything up all the time. Scopes. ACOG Hunter M1, M82. I mean, the detail, the graphic design is so good how they've done this. Suppressors. Sites. This shit is expensive though. Very expensive. Healies. Bayonets. Rivers. I mean, it does sort of make me. Oh, I suppose on on multiplayer servers. I'm guessing now people are probably going to turn the loot way, way, way down that you can find in order to use the uh, military gear, in order to use the traders. What is this? Ah, MREs, okay. Crafting materials, CD player, gunpowder, tools, toolbox, miscellaneous compass. That's it. Melee weapons. Wooden sword. Ah, the golden katana. Eleven grand. Medieval sword. Booster's machete. Three and a half k. Not bad. Not bad. Quite expensive. How much is that? Bolts. Ah, bolts. Okay. Uh, bullets. How much? Let's see. Two hundred dollars for twenty-two. Look, even the design on the on the boxes of, of the ammo is so good, man. They put so much detail into this. Man 98, okay. Oh, that's nice that it gives you the related... I like that, that's good. Sometimes it can be a bit confusing, certainly if you're a new player and you don't know what ammo goes to what. It's good that it gives you the related weapons. I like that. That's a nice touch. That's cool. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, 76254 is for the SVD and the Mosin. M16 and the M18. 50 cal is for the 50 cal, obviously. 45 ACP, that's nice. I like that. That's a nice touch. That's really cool. Uh, let's see if I can buy something. Oh, hang on, I haven't seen all of this. Look at this. Sawn off just sitting on the floor. Somebody accidentally knocked over a pump. All of the helmets, the boots. The detailing is just crazy what they've done here, man. I, I just, I take my hat off to the devs because they've honestly done such an amazing job. Oh, and you can go out the back door. What? What's up? What's up, dude? They do speak. It's cool. Can you... I don't know if you can spawn cash. Cash. How much do you get? 5k. Okay, so let's just... I oh, don't want that. Get some of this. And it self-stacks to 10 grand, which is nice. Okay, so let's buy my first weapon. See what what do we want? Trade. What do we want? Well, uh, oh, I got to remember about that single click. Well, the car is my favourite weapon. Not that one. So, if I right, if I left click, how do I? Art. No. Rifles. Car. Hmm. How do you? Okay, so that's it won't let me All right. <laughs> buy Let's the do this. Oh for some reason. We try it. We see what happens. If I try and shoot in here. There's the mechanic we'll go to next. 
And there's also, I think, a general store of some kind. Where you can buy, like, backpacks and clothing and stuff. Let's just finish this MRE and see what happens. If I've got my gun in my hand... I didn't buy a magazine for it, but... Okay, you can still... If you're trying to rob the place, I guarantee you, I'm well armed. Because I've got no idea. I'm interested. But seeing all them gums on the wall is just... Oh, I love it when you see pistols like that. So good. Right, so let's load this back up. I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, nothing. Nothing happens. Are you trying to get shot? See what the what's this one? Hang on, what's this? What's this? Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, do not enter. Okay. Damn! Look at that. You don't want to get impaled on there. Can you climb over this? No. Uh, okay, they've been sneaky. But I guess you could parachute down. I'm gonna go for a bit more exploring. Mm, mechanic. What's we got here? Mechanic, armory, general goods. There's the bank. This is going to be the tavern where you can come and do missions, I think, as well for the boss. There's going to be some, like, big boss guy. And this is the bank where you'll be able to safely deposit your money. But again, this isn't finished. This will be, you know, these these are all things to come in the coming well, year, I guess. Let's go and have a look at the mechanic. Good old tires everywhere. Hello. Hello. So let's have a look. Hogs. How much are hogs or cruisers? Sixteen. Uh, okay, that's green one, blue one. Dirt bikes, sports bike. Twenty-two grand. Okay. Pedal bikes. Three grand. Vehicles. Pick up. See, this is this is nice that if if you're fussy like me and you want a particular one, you know you don't want a green one, you want a red one. But again, you can still find them out in the world. So, kind of, kind of defeats the object. So they've got. Okay, so that one's without the roof rack. That one's with the roof rack. Okay, I see. SUVs. Buy a tractor. Eleven thousand. And a quad. Uh, what else have we got here? Crafting, car battery, oil filters. Oh, okay, so you can buy those now. Again. Tire, car, okay, you can get an airplane kit from him. Nice, nice. Miscellaneous car battery gasoline. Does that come full? Yes, it does. That's handy. That's nice. Uh, so let's... I should have enough for a vehicle. Oh, I'm in the wrong menu. Prices are not negotiable. Okay, prices are not negotiable. Uh, what's this building going to be, I wonder? Oh, this is the saloon. Looking by these neon lights underneath this type of... That's a good way. Look, see, it's not just, you know, a door that you can't go in. Yeah, they've actually taken the time and the effort to board it up to say... You know, it's not ready yet. We're still working on it. But look, they, they've actually done it properly. So it's not just a static building sitting there that is, you know, doing nothing. And to try and hide the fact they've put the tarpaulin over the sign. And I'm guessing that when this opens up, that tarpaulin will disappear. This will all be lit up. Those boards will disappear. See, they just do things right, man. They really do. I really do take my hat off to them because they just do it right. For me, it's the little details, and that is a little detail. That is so cool. Too many games focus on not the little things, and it's the little things that make a bigger impact, in my opinion, anyway. General goods. Let's have a look. Bags. to browse around it's another brit it's another brit that's quite funny so armory guy was american mechanic guy 
Eastern European and the shop owner is a Brit. I like that. A nice little touch. What have you got, my friend? Oh, you can buy melee weapons here. Cutting weapons. Uh, ooh, this is where you get the chainsaw from. Okay. That was interesting. Uh, katana. Piercing weapons. Uh, crafting materials. Okay, so here's got bobby pins he's got boxes of nails bricks coal pots deer antlers doe leg why would i want a doe leg donkey head drill Ooh, enforced lock let's go for another quick little flight and then i'm going to end the video here but yeah that's 0 0.7 and it is awesome it is awesome and it's going to change well, I have to remember that it's queuing here. Huh. It's just going to change the way people play the game now. It's just amazing what they've put into it. It really is. It just blows my mind that they've done all of this. And, you know, this isn't a triple star game. And some of the triple star games that have came, come out recently have been absolute shut. Completely shut. And I think the scum devs deserve all the praise that they're given because this game, from what it started out as in life to where it is now, I just think it is awesome and it's only going to get better because, you know, like I said, if you follow them on Twitter and you see the things that they're posting, it's just going to be so good, it really is going to be awesome. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here, oh, a bit of lag there, a little bit of lag, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight of what there is. Let's try, just to the final goodbye, let's see if I can dive bomb and mech, see what will happen. I'll probably die, but, you know, why the hell not? I've uh, got to try and find one. Where is he? Just give it a second to load in. Should be one somewhere. It takes a second or two for everything to load in. There's one. There's another one. Let's go for this one here. He's got his back to us. Kamikaze! I missed! And I died. So you do blow up and die. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to leave it there. I hope it gave you some insight into 0 0.7. I'm looking forward to having so much fun playing this, especially on the multiplayer series that I'm doing. So uh, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.